Hey there, this is Brian with Doc's Prop Shop. We buy, sell, trade, replicate, and design movie props. Today I'm going to show you guys my lightsaber collection. I've only been collecting for, <clears throat> I would say, probably since the end of last year. I actually started to serious collect lightsabers. Um, the one I've had for the longest time is this uh, early to mid-2000s saber which is a telescoping Obi-Wan from A New Hope. Sorry, it's kind of fuzzy there. So 2004 Hasbro. Um, I actually got this from my brother-in-law and he was tossing it out and I'm like, oh man, you can't toss that out. That's a saber. So I ended up taking it from him <laughs> and I had this for years uh, took it to Force Awakens when it came out took it to um, Rogue One and I believe uh, Revenge of the Sith and you know it was a fun little saber kind of just hung up in my in my garage for a while and didn't really think anything of it well as a prop collector that I am, I was sitting there, I was thinking, you know what, it's kind of funny, I only have one saber. And that need for more kind of grew into uh, buying the Kylo Ren, which is, this is the Saber Builders. Uh, this is the one you can get from Target. Uh, I believe this one was 40 to $50. Pretty nice saber. I like it. I've battled my nephew quite a few times with it. Sounds are still good in it. The lights aren't too bad in it. So they have this on clearance. I bought that. Then it kind of went a little bit nuts and started buying more of them. I went and bought um, this guy here, which is another like $40 to $50 saber, which is the Anakin. Red and blue. I think the blue's the best on it. Now this is another kid's saber. Uh, this is Hasbro. Um, let me see, it says, uh, 2010 Lucasfilms, yeah, so it's just another Hasbro. The sounds on it are nice, especially since it does both colors. Uh, my daughter loves this one, actually all of these down here are hers. As you notice for Vader, it's missing the cap here, um, I was messing with it. But, pretty bright in the dark. Uh, my daughter definitely likes it. She won't let me battle with that one. So like I say, those ones you can get Target for 40 to 50 bucks. Um, then a cheap little, cheap little $20, $25 Ray Saber from Saber Builders. Um, kind of had this one apart a couple of times. I don't know if it'll ignite on me. Been playing with it a little bit. Wanted to switch out the blade of that one into this one. Um, now this was actually the first Graflex replica, cheap replica, but, uh, saber that I had. And, uh, I thought it was funny cause I don't have, out of all the props I have and I have a lot of props <laughs> and then more up there. Um, I thought it was funny that I didn't have a Graflex. I mean, the most iconic weapon in cinematic history, um, so this one here, I ended up buying for her. Uh, she has a Ray costume. She played with it for a little bit. Um, but once once this one came in, you know, she didn't care about this one anymore because she likes the lights and sounds and all that. So I decided, you know, I kept seeing the Black Series Force FX lightsabers that you see at Walmart or uh, Toys R Us. And I finally decided to make a purchase when I saw this Return of the Jedi Saber. 
and I'm like, it's $159, and I have really had a hard time deciding to spend the money on this. But then it came down to 106 at Christmas time. So, take it off the holder here. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and buy one for 106. And when I got it home and I opened this thing, popped in the batteries and turned it on, the obsession really started. <laughs> I mean, really started. Um, it's obviously not a dueling saber, but the lights are bright. The sound is great. The, uh, let's see if I can make it to, uh, so it's pretty responsive. I went out in the backyard like everybody else and started flipping this thing around, just really enjoying myself with it. And like I say, that's when it really started and I just went nuts over lightsabers. So that was the, the first real expensive buy for Saber. There's better ones out there. There's custom Saber builders. And of course, you're looking at a Corbanth, uh, which I'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, that's a 2.0 replica. So then I went and got this one, which is a New Hope Vader Saber. Very nice. It's, it's, it's really heavy um, compared to the other Sabers I have. The red is nice, but it's it's not as bright as the green, of course. But the detail is still really nice on it. I do like it. So there's the red and the, the green together. Then I've bought in three different versions of the darn Force FX Black Series Kylo Ren Saber. Um, and returned them because the sound is terrible. The lighting is, is, is sad for $200. So a guy actually had this for 60. All right. 60 sounds good to me. It did have one little issue. This isn't lighting up, but since I build movie props, this will be very easy to take apart and get it working again. But that's the Kylo Ren. These are the adult series, uh, adult black series, uh, replica collector sabers. They're not for dueling. They're great for display. They're great for cosplay. They are non-removable blades. So these are all nice and dandy, but I figured instead of just buying a replica by Hasbro of the most iconic saber, which is the Anakin, Luke, and now Ray Saber. This is the uh, 2.0 Corbanth replica. It's a $200 helm. I have not put the lights in it or any of the electronics inside of it yet, uh, which I'm going to plan to do a, a exposed crystal chamber. Um, this is in the Empire Strikes Back uh, version, which it comes with New Hope or Empire Strikes Back. And this... Is the most beautiful replica uh, saber that I own. I mean, this this thing is amazing. Every piece comes off, uh, comes with all the kits, clamp card, and it it all comes apart. I mean, I love this. My customers when they come over, they love just checking this thing out and messing around with it, putting it in their hand. Um, it's just a great piece. Uh, totally worth the two hundred bucks. Um, it's more expensive. This one was 140. This one was 106. That one was 60. Uh, the other ones, obviously, you know, I already said the prices on those ones. But I had to get, with all the movie props I have, I had to get a replica Graflex saber. And obviously, it's a flash can, uh, flash handle. But I mean, this thing is just Corbanth. This guy does a beautiful job on these savers and they feel amazing. They really do. I just love holding this thing and checking it out. So um, with the purchase of this, which I haven't bought the electronics for it yet and the, uh, the blade that I'm going to do, but I, I am going to do the Arctic Blue uh, with some sound bites and exposed crystal uh, chamber. I did decide to finally buy uh, on the... Facebook Saber Collector Sale Sites. 
I did find a uh, New Hope version of Luke Saber, Luke Anakin Saber, uh, non-removable blade for a very good price. It's about a hundred bucks. So um, that's on its way right now. Uh, at first, I wasn't gonna buy one, but then I was like, you know what? I got an extra spot set up for one, and the price was just really good on it. Um, you know, these, these pieces here are great, but I don't really display these when I'm doing conventions. Uh, I have a lot of props that we put on display and we do conventions, comic book stores. Um, uh, but this one, definitely the core bath is something that I could have on display that really wow people. And then the customers that come by, um, these ones, I, I might just put them out. Like, you know, as everybody knows, this return of the Jedi is, is so bulky and big, but it is so much fun. Anyways, this is a little more. Uh, accurate. I did take off the labels, you know, but the these these helms are bigger, as you can tell, because they have to fit the electronics and the blade and stuff in there. Of course, uh, the electronics I'll be fitting in there will be a lot smaller. But this is my saber collection. I'll go ahead and put them all back up and turn them on. Try and have them all in. And if you guys are looking and you're questioning spending the money on a force effects and you're not dueling and you just want nice pieces in your shop or your bedroom or wherever your office just to display, uh, these do nicely. These really are just nice sabers. They're built really well. And I'll go ahead and shut off the lights and turn them on. And honestly, that green is just the most beautiful thing. So anyways, thank you guys for checking out my Sabre video. Uh, I'm not a professional in any way for doing any kind of filming. I am an amateur, but I thought I would show uh, my collection. Uh, please like or subscribe and check out our Instagram, Doc's Prop Shop Instagram. Check out Doc's Prop Shop on Facebook and subscribe here at YouTube. Thank you.